Yeah, so I just want to do a, a quick little video, um, sort of demoing the K95 RGB um, and some of its features and how I use it for Eve. So first off, the software is ridiculously complex. I mean, you can map anything to anything, apply colors to any individual key. Um, you do have a limited amount of color mixing, uh, but you can also do like complex animations and timers and things like that and tie those to certain keys. Um, it, it really, it's almost too many options, but uh, you know, I'm. I'm be surprised what people can come up with on this thing. So first off, uh, this is really just kind of a cosmetic feature, but uh, you hit the numpad, you get a nice little kind of ripple effect, you know, which you, you do this by setting up the background color as blue, and then you set it up so any, for, for only this group of keys, then if any of these keys is hit, then you have a, uh, a, a red ripple effect. So that, that's sort of the general idea of how, how you set this stuff up. So, like for function keys, you know, have uh, DPS along, uh, they're, they're in red. Uh, hardeners are typically green. Um, and you've got micro warp drive, light blue, tanking, dark blue, and then, you know, you've got the map highlighted over here. So, in which, you know, you can remap and customize that, and it's, it's super easy in the software to change if, if I want to fly a different ship. Most, most ships, and I, I try to fit into that profile. If, if it's something that, you know, doesn't work, I, you can reassign it in maybe like five seconds, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, also, one like neat little thing is I assign to the caps lock key. So if you accidentally hit the caps lock key, you, know, you get a nice kind of little white and yellow flashing thing. So it makes it stand out a little bit in case caps lock is accidentally on. So probably the most useful thing would be the G keys and color coding the G keys um, is just one way to really make things make a little bit more sense. At least you know, at least for me. So like I've got comms over here in green, and when you hold them down, you get a nice little uh, flashing animation. So of course you know, you've got shout, whisper, and global chat to talk to other FCs and stuff. So over here you have uh, broadcast primary target in red, broadcast need shields, broadcast need armor. Um, this would be jump or uh, dock, and this would be command approach. Also if you're flying a carrier or any, any drone boat you, know, you can command attack with this or you can say oh, you know, I want to recall drones. So that comes in handy because you can typically keep your hand here and then you can jump in between the different functions without having to really move your hand a lot it helps with hand strain a little bit. Also, you can uh, set up all sorts of different profiles for different games or just general use. You know, I have my general use on the third profile, so you know, just this is typically what I use. You know, most of the time. Um, but you know, you can come up with pretty much anything you want to do. Um, there's some features that people go, you know, ah, well, I'm never really going to use that. And I admit there's some things that are just purely because, well, it looks cool. I can do a nice little ripple effect. You know, chase across the whole keyboard. And you know you can spam it and get ridiculous. And all this is highly customizable. Like you can set up a, a rainbow ripple effect, and you need, and it's not just like oh I'm going to set this. It's actually like really complex how you can set this up. So let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Like multiple keys. Yeah, yeah. So like you'll create a different point over here and uh, assign a color to it, and you can set up like different uh, so like intensities and stuff and then you can add, add as many of these points as you want and so you can get some really ridiculous color effects it's it's like I said almost too many options but again you know if, if you play an MMO like EVE or uh, World of Warcraft or any other really complex game where you want to try to explain a lot of different functions on your keyboard um, and sometimes you need to access those quickly it can come in handy so that's the K95 RGB